हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी एक्स्ट्रा वाइडनिंग एक्स्ट्रा वाइडनिंग इज डिफाइंड एज द इंक्रीज इन विथ ऑफ पेवमेंट बाय इंक्रीजिंग द लेंथ इज कॉल्ड वाइडनिंग हियर वी जस्ट इंक्रीज द विथ ऑफ द लेन बाय इंक्रीजिंग द नंबर ऑफ लेंस दिस इज कॉल्ड एज एक्स्ट्रा वाइडनिंग now it is done just to resolve the problem of increase in traffic volume now what is the purpose of extra widening the first one is to account off tracking due to rigidity of wheel base now due to rigidity of wheel base off tracking will takes place which means that the path traversed by the front axle is not same as path traveled by the rear axle this phenomena is known as off tracking so to avoid off tracking we generally provide mechanical widening second one is the to encounter psychological tendency of driver negotiating the curve now generally driver will tries to move the vehicle as close as the outer edge of the pavement now to increase the safety of the driver as well as to increase the safety of the vehicle we generally provide the extra widening the next one is the to account lateral skidding now to reduce the impact of lateral skidding we will provide extra widening on a particular lane as well as it is generally provided to increase visibility at the curve now extra widening will be equals to mechanical widening plus psychological widening so it can be represented as we is equals to wm plus wp now first of all we will go for the derivation of mechanical widening now in mechanical widening the problem is off tracking that is path traversed by front axle is not same as the path traveled by rear axle here it is shown that the path traveled by the front axle is this and path traveled by the rear axle is this so both the path is not same this phenomena is known as off tracking now mechanical widening is provided to avoid off tracking due to rigidity of wheel base here we had provided mechanical widening to avoid off tracking due to rigidity of wheel base now in this diagram this is known as mechanical widening this is the radius of the curve which is represented by capital r and this distance is known as r plus wm that is radius of curve plus mechanical widening now from this triangle we can just name it as o a and b now in triangle oab oa square plus ab square will be equals to ob square now ab value is length of vehicle so it is represented by a small l which is written here now we will put the value of oa which will be equals to r square and the value of ab is small l that is l square and ob value will be equals to r plus wm whole square on solving this we will get l square is equals to wm 2r plus wm now as compared to radius of the curve the value of wm that is mechanical widening is very less so we will write here the value of mechanical widening is very less as compared to two times of radius of the curve so we will neglect wm here okay so the value will becomes l square equals to wm into 2r now from this we will calculate the value of mechanical widening which will be equals to l square upon 2r that is for off tracking condition now it is provided for one lane only now if we have to calculate the mechanical widening for n lane it will be equals to wm equals to nl square upon 2r that will be the value of mechanical widening for n number of lanes now we will move to the psychological widening it is defined as the tendency for vehicle close to the edge of pavement on curve and 
maintain more side gap between another vehicle. Now, it is generally provided when the vehicle tries to move very close to the edge of the pavement, somewhat here, and this vehicle has to maintain some side gap between the other vehicles also. Now, if this vehicle will tries to move as close as possible to the outer edge of the pavement, there is a chance of overturning of vehicle. So, we will provide here psychological widening which will take care of the overturning of the vehicle. Now, the empirical equation is WP equals to V upon 9.5 root R. Here, R is the radius of the curve and V is the velocity in kilometer per hour. So, we will write here kilometer per hour and R is the radius of the curve in meter. Now, the total extra widening will be equals to WM plus WP. So, we will put the value of WM and WP which will be equals to NL square upon 2R plus V upon 9.5 root R. That will be the total extra widening. Now, one note is there that as per Indian Road Congress for single lane road, psychological widening will be equals to 0. Now, if R is greater than 300 meter, the extra widening will be equals to 0. It means that when the radius of curve is greater than 300 meter, then we don't need to provide any extra widening on that curve. And if the radius of the curve is in between 50 meter to 300 meter, then extra widening is provided in both edges. That is here WE by 2 as well as here WE by 2. And if radius is less than 50 meter, then WE is provided in inner edges, which is shown here. That is all about extra widening. Thank you very much, students.